Hello everyone, welcome into another Joint Movement DPT's video. We are excited because it's one of the first weekends of us being here in Arizona that mm -hmm. we're going to actually go out and see something cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not cool in weather-wise because right now it's 100 degrees outside. <laughs> it is the very beginning of October and where we're staying it's 100 upper 90s but we're about to go to where it's 106 today yes we are heading to lake havasu which is about an hour away from where we're staying and um, the lake is actually where the colorado river gets a little wider um, but it's beautiful scenery and there in lake havasu is actually the london bridge <laughs> yes the london bridge the actual london bridge that got brought over brick by brick and reconstructed because a guy in Lake Havasu, Arizona bought it. Yep. So crazy. He did. We're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go check out Lake Havasu, play in the water a little bit, hopefully, oh. and just have a good time. You gotta hit the water when it's 110 degrees out. So join us. Wait for me! Wait for me! <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> London Bridge in Havasu City. There's a whole bunch of shops here. We don't know if they're open yet. There's a cool fountain and the bridge. So we're gonna check it out. So the boundary of the city of London, England, which was established in Roman times, was always marked by a dragon. And so here in the city of London, in Lake Havasu, they actually have two dragons that kind of mark the entrance here, which is really cool how they added that to this. This is so cool. They have like little shops down here. It feels like we're like vacationing here. And then you have this beautiful Lon London Bridge. It's a really cool area out in the middle of a desert. Yeah, it's really, it's a fun vibe. They've got some tiki huts. They've got ice cream restaurants out here. And if you can hear a bunch of boats. Oh my gosh, there's some so fast many. boats. Some speed boats for sure. They have pontoon boats out here. They got they got sea cruisers. They got, they got huts that are floating on the water. Yeah, legit looking little huts that just have it's a motor strapped funny. to it. All kinds of big boating community. I spotted an ice cream hut. Oh, Megan's always has her eye out for uh, ice, ice cream. cream. It's hot enough. Yeah. All right, explain to them why this is special for you. So I got a snow cone with um, soft serve vanilla ice cream in the bottom, and it's fun and cool because this is how they do snow cones in Hawaii and it brings me back to a family vacation that I got to do with my family years ago but they serve it in this same little plastic thing and they put what we did in Hawaii which was delicious was vanilla ice cream with macadamia nut in the bottom and then your snow cone topping and it's wonderful see it makes it so good Walking under the London Bridge. How's it feel? Oh, it's a lot cooler. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. The London Bridge. Like the one in the nursery rhyme. It's not falling down here. We are here at Lake Havasu State Park and this 
beautiful beach. And so we're gonna go ahead and play in the water, hang out here, relax, and enjoy the beautiful sight. What's amazing is across the lake is this like desert red rock landscape that you would normally see in Arizona. I'm just so different to see at a beach. A lot of speed boats here. So many speed boats. I don't know if it's because there's like straightaways or it's so much distance between like Bullhead City and here or something. I don't know, but there's a or ton of them. Or it's just really cool to have them, but. <laughs> so far the state park is a great place to come down. There's tons of families down here um, setting up shop and enjoying the beach. Let's All right, let's get in. It's, it's 105 degrees right now, 105. Look at this white body. I'm gonna fry. I mean, I get sunburned going to get our mail, let alone out here. The state park was much less busy than the island beach that we first tried to go to and that you can go to. It was just packed a little bit more full with a little less beach real estate. So this is a cool town. They've really capitalized on the London Bridge, so there's a lot of places to stay right on the water. There's a lot of jet ski rentals and paddleboard rentals. We're going to plan a day to rent a jet ski in the future, and we'll probably do it here at Lake Havasu instead of at Bullhead City. That was the first town that we went to go park at, and it was packed with jet skis. Like, oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> like, there's like 50 jet skis at one time just up oh and down the gosh. river. I have never seen a river packed so full <laughs> like sardines. This section in like Havasu, it's wider. So I think we're going to plan that for some weekend one day. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun before it starts getting cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it was still 106 degrees here today. So yeah, I think we got a little bit. We got a little bit of time. Well, we're going to go do some adventure and just kind of looking around, see if we see anything else cool on Lake Havasu and then head back to oh. Big Betty, our little home. So we crossed over the London Bridge over to the island and there is some really cool little nooks and crannies over here um, where people take uh, kind of off road and then you can get down to the beach and there's all these little lighthouses. I think we're gonna have to pick another day to come here and take the Subaru on some of these off-road places and get down by the beach and have a nice secluded beach. Just really beautiful. Yeah. And it's a great time to be here right now because the temperature is dropping, you have a beautiful Arizona sunset, and uh, you get, feel some breeze off the lake. Well, it's getting dark and so we'll probably go ahead and end our episode for today if you enjoyed this episode give us a thumbs up if you don't already please subscribe so you don't miss another one of our travel vlogs that come out every sunday and uh until next time see ya, see ya. to celebrate season two we're going to be giving away 50 new joint movement traveler stickers mm -hmm. to the first 50 people who comment on any of our videos that we publish in the time frame of october 25th to november 29th that's right. So all you have to do is comment hashtag joint movement traveler and fill out the survey on the link that's in our description so that we know where to send the sticker and you will have one right at your door. Yep. We'll mail it right to you. Yeah. So we're excited to do this. We wanted a way to get you guys involved and a way for us to see your adventures. So we would love if you continued using that hashtag, showing us where you're traveling to or showing us where our sticker is traveling to as well. Yeah, we really kind of want to create a clan, a group, and so we're inviting you to join. Yes. Thank you guys for joining in on season two. We're really excited. We hope you're excited too. We hope that we get to meet some of you guys on the road. We've made a lot of friends over YouTube and Instagram so far. So we hope to meet you out there on the road. If not, we will see you next Sunday. And thanks for joining us. Until next time. See ya. See ya.